IIT Jam 2022 is kind of knocking at the door and at this moment you need to fine tune your preparation and you need most important information based on the trends and the previous year question. This video is one of that video and there is a playlist on that which talks about the most important topics in IIT Jam. Playlist is linked in the i button and also in the description so check that out. Anyway, based on the analytics of microbiology topic we can see these are the most important topics from where frequently questions are asked. So right now I want you to pay attention on this particular topic. That means virus and bacteria they are associated with specific disease. Almost every year they ask a question on that part and last year they didn't ask a question. That means there is a high chance that they are going to ask question from this particular topic this year. Before moving into details, let me tell you that last moment tricks and tips are really important to shape your rank. In this moment, you need to practice MCQ and also revise the concept and you need to have a balance between these two processes. Otherwise, you cannot succeed in this exam. So in order to practice and check your preparation, uh, preparation you can download an academy app and enroll for free for this particular mock test. This is an All India mock test. It would also help you to understand that in an All India crowd, where do you stand? It's on 30th January, so you still have time. It starts from 11 a.m. It's a 180 minute test, just going to be mimicking IIT Jam. It would be for every subject, like for biotechnology, you, you must be interested in biotechnology. It's also important for physics, chemistry, and mathematics. So if you have a friend, who is going to give the IIT jam you can also refer them this particular thing now the biggest part is not only you can understand that where do you stand in this crowd but if you give this particular uh, test you can also win a uh, amazon gift voucher worth rupees 65k that's amazing so don't forget to use my code ap10 for the registration for this particular uh, examination and please tell your friends now if you are looking for like quick tips and tricks and a quick revision for various topics in IIT jam I have free classes for these categories and I have given a link in the description you can click on that use my code ap10 you don't need to get a subscription you can watch those particular classes and get benefit out of it so check all of that especially check the description box all the link regarding this particular test also also the other class revisions everything is provided in the description now take a look at this particular exam questions all of these are iit jam previous year questions you can find a striking similarity between these questions not only some disease are repetitively asked but also they have a common performa match the following and generally they ask causative organisms and what is the disease. So you need to make a list of diseases that are frequently asked. Okay, I have already done that for you. So these are the diseases which are frequently asked and especially these diseases are bacterial disease. In the subsequent videos, I would talk about viral, fungal and parasite mediated diseases as well. So stay tuned to the channel, you would get everything. Anyway, if you're looking for the flashcards, these particular informations all together you can download it from my facebook page you can uh, check the link in the description and go to the facebook page next you should always remember the important information regarding the mode of antibiotic action especially they ask questions on penicillin vancomycin and a bunch of amino acid that kind of perturbs the nucleic acid synthesis such as ciprofloxacin, novobiocin, mitomycin, nalidixic acid, these kind of antibiotics. So these lists become really important. And bunch of antibiotic that inhibits protein synthesis. They might ask direct questions from that. Also, they can ask, let's say, a particular bacteria that is insensitive to penicillin. What, what is the bacteria? Or mycoplasma, if you want to, if you have a mycoplasma infection, can you treat it with penicillin? So these kind of questions can be asked. You need to know that, okay, in mycoplasma, there is no cell wall, so penicillin would not be effective, but let's say tetracycline would be effective for uh, mycoplasma. 
So how exactly these antibiotics work? All the gists are provided in this particular uh, flashcard. You can get it free for uh, free for your preparation from my Facebook page. Do check it out. Along with that, there are many other uh, informations. So all together. Now mechanisms of um, antibiotics and their targets are really important. You should also understand that how one particular antibiotic uh, is like uh, specific for eukaryote versus specific for prokaryote. All of these aspects are important. Other uncommon things such as cell membrane disruption is caused by polymyxin, tunicamycin change the uh, glycosylation. These kind of informations are really important. Then there would be a bunch of antibiotics um, producing bacteria that are important. A antibiotic producing fungus, those are also important. Everything is listed here. Then some of the mi microbial product which has industrial interest such as ethanol, acetone, butanol and so many vitamins, everything is reported here based on the previous year question. Then we come to the food and microbes. So the common microbes which are used in food industry are kind of uh, listed here based on the gate and the IIT jam question. So there are very stereotypic microbes that are really important and everything is noted here for you guys. Then there would be some microbes which are important for biofuel and biopolymer production and everything is right now um, all the specific information that you need to know that you don't really need to understand from a conceptual framework because these are informations you can anyway get it in the internet but our examination system needs us to like memorize these information so in this last moment or last week this is a high time for you to like revise them and make sure you know all of them then we come to drinks and some special yeast types that are used for food production and everything is kind of summarized more such information would be provided in the subsequent videos till the IIT jam so stay tuned and watch all of these videos i hope these are very useful for you anyway if you are revising revise with these dynamic flashcards which are provided in my anim animated biology channel so these flashcards would help you to revise very quickly next all the notes and flashcards can be downloaded from the facebook page so click on the link in the description to get to the facebook facebook page don't forget to like that as well as usual like share and subscribe don't forget to comment and if you can if you are a foreign viewer you can support me by patreon if you're an indian viewer you can support me via bhim upi app your small contribution means a lot because i bring a lot of important tips and tricks for your examinations that would help you so my courses are obviously there in an academy if you are uh, willing to take a course which are very structured very meticulous you can use my code ap10 to get a 10 percent discount and start your preparation thank you